so welcome back humidity is to the roof already <laughs> in savannah um we're gonna install some cognito end links today on the sway bar for the front uh comes with instructions we're gonna make sure we read those and make sure i went through all the packaging to make sure i grabbed everything Looks pretty straightforward, but nothing ever is with me, so let's get to it. Hope you guys enjoy it. I'll do a little review afterwards. Uh, subscribe, like, and share. We're back on the old Duramax already. It's nothing that ever breaks. It's just me upgrading. Just like what most of us like to do anyway. <laughs> let's go, guys. I feel like I've been doing these videos on my ground, the ground all the time. So, 15 millimeter on the bottom. Use the impact. Uh, I use the adjustable wrench to hold the top. Back it out. Uh, if you lift both tires off the ground, right? I see people do it with one tire on the ground. I don't know why. It puts tension on the sway bar. So, both tires off the ground. Gets off pretty easy. Uh, the right side came off in multiple pieces. And this left side... I don't know. I mean, they just look weak. It's just a bolt. I know it doesn't hold much, but come on. So we have upgraded parts. Now let's see how this one goes on. All right, so I had to do this off camera. Um, the instructions told you to mount this first, then put this on, but I found it easier if you take it all off and then put it together, it just slides in. Uh, the bushing in here just pops in as well, you just lube it up. Did the same thing to the other side. Um, I'm gonna loosen up the sway bar a little bit so rotate up and then get the other bushings on and then tighten it all up. Uh, pretty easy install. Um, I'll give you the size of the nuts once I figure it out myself <laughs> what they are but uh pretty simple so far I'll leave everything loose first get everything aligned up and then start from top to bottom tightening everything up cuz uh, excuse me um just so you know you can move it around and, and fit it to your liking but almost there guys not too hard then we'll drive it around and see if we like it all right all done as you saw there i had a little issue little side note make sure your impact is completely charged before you start a project i'll check that from now on <laughs> but as you saw just tying this bolt make sure that this uh, clevis is uh, oriented uh that way uh this is 15 16th this is three fourths and then I use an open end wrench on the back side. 
The top nut is a, a top bolt is a 16 millimeter. You just want to put tension on it and uh, when they start to bulge out a little, a little bit, don't over crank it down, tighten it. Don't go crazy. Uh, I didn't have to loosen up the sway bar mounting bolts. All I did was push up on the sway bar a little bit. Um, fitment is great. Um, heavy duty, uh, very happy with it. Uh, next will be the probably the Cognito sway bar. Um, I do have the balancer, the homo the fluid damper uh, coming in, so that'll be probably be the next video. But for suspension wise, I want to do the uh, front sway bar for sure. So hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. Um, more of these will be coming. Catch you guys on track. Take it easy, guys. <laughs> so, just finishing up my test drive, uh, and to be honest, I don't feel the damn difference. So, <laughs> there's that. But a peace of mind, you know, um, that little bolt with the sleeve on it from from uh, factory. Come on, that's OEM stuff is is janky. So, um, definitely, uh, you know, good upgrade. Uh, for later on when you tie everything together you know when you put the bigger sway bar on uh, you would probably put more too much stress on the stock uh, bolt so um, overall you know they look cool easy install not that expensive so and I'm gonna need it for later on all right so hope you guys like it uh, don't forget to subscribe like and share that's my honest review um, I don't feel much of a difference maybe a little bit less body roll but that that could just be because i put a new part on it and i'm mentally thinking that hoping it is true so uh let's see hopefully the fluid damper when it comes in i can tell a difference because the polyurethane bushings i have on this truck uh do rattle the fillings loose just when you're parked um when you're moving you can it doesn't feel any different so but sitting in stop and go traffic the truck rattles so we'll see if that calms it out. If it doesn't, oh well. Um, should save the crank. I should have done that upgrade a long time ago. But thanks for watching, guys. Catch you on the next one.